Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of the Solar Series. I hope all is well. In today's video, we get into a bunch of PvP as well as do some raids. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So I've just trapped a 130 golem and uh yeah, it'd be easier for a lot of the raids that are high up on cliffs and that and it'll soak heavies a lot well. And it'll soak heavy, sorry, a lot better than a Stego. So yeah, they're easy to tame, so I'm gonna quickly knock one out and tame it up. Oh. Nice, it's out. Now I need to damn it. Let's hope it comes out with okay stats. I'm just going to take the stone, even though it might come out bad, but I don't have any sulfur, so. Nearly done. I went around looking for so far, but I couldn't really find any, so I still will have to do. I'm not too bothered about the stats as long as it's above like 10k, then you know, it's a golem, it'll soak heavy, it's like nothing anyway. Right, let's do a HP. 9.2, that is pretty bad, but I'll take it, it'll still soak, okay. I'm putting up taming a few more off camera at some point anyway. Next, I move on to raid a hidden rat hole over an extinction. So let's jump straight into it. Ooh, there's a base in here. Ooh, easy raid. Definitely try this. Nice, we've got a stego, so this should easily do the trick. There we go. Wait, what? All them types went to hell. The hell? Okay. Tiny bit of bullets. Gonna have to deal with that blood stalker. There we go. Right, there we go. Stalker's down. Nothing inside. Okay. Check their kits first. Hey, nothing on him, just prim flap. I'm just going to place the C4 to get him out of bed and destroy him. Oh, some decent flap, really decent flap. Nice, hopefully I'll have some BPs. Okay, Smithy, some resources. Uh that's probably what I already take. Nothing crazy in there. See if we can blow the fabricator. I oh, don't got a fridge here. Nothing there. Uh, 
A bunch of resources. Uh, I'll take that, because I need that. Tiny bit of metal. Nice. I don't think this fabricator is going to break. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Nice bunch of resources. I'll take it. And now we have the vault. Right. Please. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cry times. Let's go. Some really nice flak. Wow, a bunch of nice flak. Some hide. Structures, parachutes, put them in the vault, PT saddle. Take the bowlers as well, just to keep them at my base. Yeah, besides that, nothing crazy, but I'll take it. Some nice profit for a small raid and all them cryos was uh, going to be really helpful and useful. Some blood stalkers, trot wyvern, a ferry. After that raid, I was chilling in base when someone came over causing trouble. So I'll let you see how that went. So there's a guy at my base. I just went to throw a blood stalker out so I can go scout and yeah, it's quickly set up a heavy. Right, he's dead. Damn. Nice little kit. Now I've got to try and kill his wife. And I don't know if he has a friend, but... Did let the tight deal with that. Nice. From extinction. Take that meat. Well, he's dead. He's gone. This guy's now threatening to rain me. He said uh goodbye to the rat hole. Plus, say bye to the rat hole. Next stop, some guys were talking hella trash on me, so I went over to their base and taught them a lesson. I'm gonna tame snipe, <laughs> I don't even care. Yeah, we'll rip another Ivan. Easy, bro. Do we get for chatting smack? I can throw my old uh, Jennies as well if I wanted to. Oh, he's kind of a rocket launcher. Is this guy for real? Oh, he just killed himself. What a bob. 
in the end, I decided to leave as they were starting to call me out for ESP and stuff for the fact that I found their base. When it's not hard to find a base when you're scouting. They also started getting racist and stuff on Discord and in-game. And they popcorn their loot. So they did get banned. But yeah, I am going to wrap up the video there, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment and sub if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.